Remember when the thought of a global pandemic and random bombings and shootings that would change life as we once knew it seemed like a plot from a sci-fi novel until it became a reality? Author and musician Sarah Pinsker saw it coming. The pandemic, the violence, the lockdowns, a new normal. She imagined it before it happened and wrote about it in her 2019 multi-award winning sci-fi rock novel, A Song for a New Day. In the before, when the government didn't prohibit large public gatherings, Loose Cannon was on top of the world. One of her songs had just taken off and she was on her way to becoming a star. Now, in the after, terror attacks and deadly viruses have led the government to ban concerts, and Lucy's connection to the world, her music, her purpose, is closed off forever. She does what she has to do. She performs illegal concerts in DIY music venues to a small but passionate community, always evading the law. A Song for a New Day is a love letter to live music and underground shows, imagining futuristic musical innovations and the punk rebel scene that could emerge in response to a closed-off world. Listen to episode 23 of Rock is Lit, the first and only podcast devoted to rock novels, to hear my conversation with author Sarah Pinsker about her pressing at sci-fi rock novel, A Song for a New Day. In the last segment of the episode, Rock is Lit veteran Nabil Ayers, author of the memoir, My Life in the Sunshine, drops by to shed light on the world of DIY music venues to add real-world context to Sarah's captivating novel. Listen to episode 23 of Rock is Lit wherever you get your podcast and celebrate the spirit of music that endures even in the midst of our darkest days. Rock is Lit!